Where are you from? Shit, I'm from a small town. I'm from the 478. I'm from a small town called Eastman, Georgia. But I moved to Atlanta, the east side, when I was 13. Then I moved to the south side, Clayco. Been out there ever since, type shit. So I'm from both parts, type shit. Middle Georgia and up here, type shit. What was life like in Middle Georgia? That shit was that shit was like fun, like regular young nigga shit, like just outside playing sports, just regular young nigga shit. You were a regular shit a young nigga would do growing up, just going outside and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was there like a big music scene there? See, that's the country. That's what, that shit like the country. So it's like the music scene down there. It's really, it's really like, now there's a music scene, like a lot of people help to like doing music, but it's like, it's not like an underground scene as it is like up here type shit. Yeah. But a lot of niggas help to the underground shit. Like now, you feel me? It's yeah. a lot of people like yeah. coming out of the first time they, it's hard for sure. Yeah. And so why did your family move from um, it's Eastman, Georgia, right? Yeah. Why did they move from Eastman to Atlanta? You just wanted a different life, cause we were fucked up, like, growing up, like, it was fucked up down there, bit. like, I used to live, me and my cousin was, it was like, my, my auntie, four kids, plus my mama, she got three kids, plus my granny, she taking care of, a whole nother family, we all in one trailer, trailer, got down in the sticks, though, like country as hell type shit. So it was like, my mom just wanted a different life. Not even, yeah, just a different environment for us type shit, as far as being in the country and shit. Mm -hmm. Shit ain't nothing down there, bit, no cap. Yeah. And so when you, when you moved to Atlanta, you moved to Decatur, right? Yeah, for sure, locked on you. Um, Brownsville Road type shit, yeah. Okay, and what was it like out there? That's when I got hip to everything, like, <laughs> that's when, like, my whole life changed when I moved over there. Like, I had to really adapt to what was going on. Mm -hmm. And not even as far as, like, cause, like, growing up in the country, like, it ain't like the city, like these young niggas, like different. It's really like, that's when I like, when I moved to like the city, that's when I really seen like gang banging and shit. Niggas got down, actually was on like real like bullshit. So I just like had to adapt to that as far as being in the country where I grew up with everybody and, and then like everybody knowing me, not, it's not too much bullshit going on. So I just really had to adapt type shit. But that shit was fun as hell, like, yeah. that shit. Was it hard to adapt for you, or? Hell no, nah, I adapt quick. I got to, like, see, thing about me, I was already, I already had swag. Like, I already, I always had swag, and I always was hip to, you feel me, shit before other niggas. So, when I got, got up here, I was already got down. It was certain shit I was on. And it was certain shit I wasn't on type shit. Like, as far as drip and shit, I wasn't really on what them niggas was on. Like, everybody was wearing trues, goddamn Jordans and shit. I was wearing Vans, Converse's coming up in a bit. So I had to get hip to that shit. But as far as music and shit, I always was on the music before niggas. Like, they ain't taking me hard. Like, I was always a cool ass nigga, fly ass nigga yeah. type shit. So. It ain't take me hard, like, that shit was easy as hell, okay. yeah. for sure. And um, what what job did your mother or did your parents work while all of this was happening? My mom, around that time, my mom used to clean houses type shit, so mm -hmm. she was in school too for like nursing and shit. Mm -hmm. But she was just cleaning houses and shit around that time, no cap. So really just hustling and grinding. Just hustling and grinding, for sure. Like, that shit crazy. Like, I really seen, like, like, 
early come from like the struggle for us, so mm -hmm. that shit. But the shit crazy, like yeah. I don't know, that shit just be crazy. Like I just be looking at that shit like damn. They got I don't know, that shit just crazy. That's why I really like grind. Like I'm really on grind for this shit because mm -hmm. I know where I, I came from, type shit. Yeah. So yeah, type shit. So at what point did you start making music? Was it in Decatur or was it in Clayton County? It's when I when I moved to um, Clayton. Okay. Like shit. It really around the time twenty, you know, 2015, 2016. You already know what was going on around that time. Yeah. Goddamn. Look, Yachty Playboy Cardi came up. It was up then. Like I wanted to rap. I seen them niggas like what they were doing. I was like. But at the time, I ain't have as much freedom as I did, yeah, like like I do, like now type of shit. Like my mom used to like, like see, I was a badass nigga. I ain't give a fuck. I used to do what I want to. But my mom still like, she was on a nigga head. She a Leo, so she not going for shit. Like she a strong ass woman, so like she tried her best to keep me out the streets. I just like. It was just like, I, that shit really was any type shit. Mm -hmm. Like, just product of environment type shit. That shit did. I just adapted to what I was around type shit. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, are you looking to like leave that street life behind or have you left it behind? Hell yeah. Like, hell yeah, you gotta get out the street some way. You think so? I mean, I mean, it'd be different when you were actually in it. It's like, same time. The only way out is music, for real, for real. So it's like, even then, you still gotta worry about shit with the music. So it's like, you just, I don't know, the streets is just, nowadays, I feel like music and the streets are the same. Like, it's really the same politics. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like, it ain't no really, Beating it is more so overcoming it type shit. You could overcome the streets and still be in the streets type shit. <laughs> like, no cap. I feel like you can. Yeah. But. And so what was the name of the first song that you made out in Clayton County? The first song? Yeah, like what was the first song you dropped, you dropped for the public? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, like, the music that I was dropping around that time, the first song, the first song, it was called um, Extendo Pretendo. No cap, it, that shit called Extendo Pretendo. I don't even know why I named it that shit. <laughs> but I was on some, it's like I had got my studio shit. I was listening to like J. Cole and shit, Heavy J. Cole, Kanye, Tyler. I was on that conscious rap type shit. So I was rap, trying to rap conscious type shit till I heard I was on some shit. I think I heard Thousand Band Funny before I heard Playboy Cardi and them niggas type shit. I heard one song by Thousand Band Funny. I was just on SoundCloud type shit. Then boom, out of, out of nowhere, I just heard a song by Playboy Cardi and um, Lil Yachty, that shit called Run It. I'm like, damn, nigga gotta start rapping like, like this type shit. So I dropped, I found a beat on YouTube, just a random beat. Got down. I dropped a song called Stendo Pretendo. Mm -hmm. That shit, that shit deleted all that shit. Deleted the type shit. Cause I really revamped my whole catalog type shit. Mm -hmm. Cause that was like high school childish mixed craft of music type shit. Mm -hmm. So then I had took a year off from music in 2018. Mm -hmm. So I had revamped my whole catalog, came back 2019. And just being going hard. What a yeah. What attracted you to that sound over the conscious rap? It was easier. Damn. It was like it was like easier. Like it was easier and it was more fun. Like yeah. Easy. Like when you doing conscious shit, you actually writing and shit. It's like that shit hard. Like, I ain't, I'm not gonna say it's hard, but for me, a nigga like me, like. My attention span is very like this, you feel me? So 
I may be doing some next thing, you know, I'm not doing it, I'm doing something else type shit. Like, I got ADHD, so my attention span, like, very low with certain shit. So, I just was like, when niggas came with that type of rap, I'm like, damn, yeah, this was going on type shit, yeah, for sure. Damn. All right, I actually, like, I fuck with y'all niggas for like, you feel me, play with Cardi Lil Yachty, like, Y'all niggas the influencers, bro. I, I, I fuck with them, boy. Like, them niggas the influencers for sure. Mm -hmm. No cap. That's why I do this shit. You hear me? Like, phone, you hear me? Them niggas influence me. No cap. Nobody else. Yeah. <laughs> Are you independent or assigned to a label? I'm independent for sure, but I fuck with Hot Sauce Records. You hear me? But I'm independent. But okay. I fuck with them. Okay. Shout out to Bear, Bear One Boss. That's my brother. Mm -hmm. I love that nigga. But I'm independent for sure. Yeah. And is there a reason why you're independent? Like, hell yeah, you know, shit. I ain't labels. I, I gotta go harder. Gotta get these labels. I know. Okay. Tapping in. But I don't know. Like, I feel like right now, is I gotta be independent because I ain't finna be signing for no little 20 ball, little, little, little 50 ball. I get that shit. I can get that shit. That's what I'm doing now. So it's like, I ain't gotta do that. I just you know, wait till the bigger bag, keep grinding till the bigger bag come. Type shit. I gotta put in my work. Mm -hmm. so, What's been the most challenging moment of your career so far? The most challenging moment is more so getting the, like, getting the, like, these people like to actually, like, fuck with you, like the city type shit. I've been trying to get the city to fuck with me. And like, it like, that's been the most, like, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Other shit, I can tap in, I've been tapping like, niggas fuck with me out the city, like, niggas know me, like, I fuck with hella artists, like, it ain't nothing to do with song with these niggas, it's more so getting everybody hip to my sound and my swag and my, like, my fun shape type shit. Do you um, do you feel like you've refined your sound, or you you found the sound that you want to go with? Um, for sure, I've been found my sound type yeah. shit. It's more so uh, the beats, my beat beat selection now, mm -hmm. and with, like my flows when I hop on the beat. Yeah, type shit. It's really on the producers. Like you gotta come with that pack, like. You feel me? Like, my flow's already here. I go off the beats type shit. Yeah. So, I can, I can, I can, I, I got many flows too. I ain't just got one flow. Like, I can switch it up, so. Yes. This shit ain't none of me. Like, rap shit really, nothing. It's more so the business side of shit. You know? mm -hmm. Easy. Look up. For sure. Um, what's been your most memorable moment so far? My most memorable moment, just going to the show, like, with my DJ, he, like, just playing my shit and seeing people, like, bobbing their heads to my shit, like, yeah. that shit make me, like, like when, I, when I see that shit, I'm like, yeah, I know for a fact, yeah, these niggas can fuck, like, I know more like I can have more fans than yeah. what I you feel me because I mm -hmm. actually see these niggas bopping their head like yeah. no cap like if Flair DJ in at your show in the city my shit gonna be played you feel me you listening to my shit like so like, I don't know I just know I know for a fact niggas can like fuck with my shit it's just more so getting these folk to fuck with my shit you know? Just being a, a better influencer and a better artist type shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, what's um what's your ultimate goal with your music? Um I just wanna be able to actually eat good off this shit. Like real racks. You feel me? I don't care about the awards, I don't care about the Grammys and shit. Cause I'ma still do this shit for me. But I just wanna be able to eat off this shit for, for like mm -hmm. actually like not no 
little plates, even like big plates type shit, like real rats. Like, I'm trying to eat out this shit for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. What inspired um, your name choice? Um, just my love, like CVS. I was big CVS. A lot of niggas don't know that. I was big CVS before I was big 3VS. But I'm gonna tell y'all why it's 3VS now. Um, well, I'm gonna tell y'all why I chose the name CVS type shit. I always used to be high type shit. I don't know what type of shit I was on. I just like, I, I had a like an interest in drugs type shit. So I just fuck with the CVS type shit. I made that name um, my senior year. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know. Nigga just started calling me three type shit. In my hometown, when I moved back down there type shit, everybody started calling me three. Then I'm like, I bet. I'm just, just changed the, the CVS to 3VS type shit. Yeah. I'ma just put the big see it was my name was CVSC at first, mm -hmm. but I just felt like everybody was on some love type shit. Like yeah. at the time they had Lil Pump. Everybody like on that little like look type name type shit. I just wanted to be big, so I just put the big in front of the um the um 3VS type shit. Yeah. Yeah. And my name is Big 3VS, not real 3VS. So for you niggas that be searching my name and be putting real 3VS, no, it is Big 3VS. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so did your music career cause any conflicts in your personal life? I mean, as far as like, you gonna have, see, in this music shit, you gonna have, you gotta, you gotta have competition. Like, you gotta have, like, yeah, not necessarily ops type shit, but you gonna have niggas you not agreeing with or niggas you don't necessarily fuck with because it's the same way with you. Like, you gonna have niggas that don't fuck with you, so. Like, of course, I done had a couple of uh, conflicts, but it never got too crazy. God bless, you feel me? Hopefully, it'll never, you feel me? Hopefully, you feel me? But, yeah. yeah. Ain't nothing, you feel me? Everything straight, like, I don't mm -hmm. be in the bullshit. I don't really like getting in the conflicts and shit with niggas and shit, because I know what, you feel me? Yeah. What do you think about um, like the use of drugs in rap music today? That shit just like that shit just like how the NBA player drank Gatorade <laughs> when he on the bench, got down in the studio. Like when a nigga in the studio and he ain't got is it like a football player going to the game? And they ain't got no water or no Gatorade. Like, where's the water, where's the Gatorade type shit? I mean, I wouldn't like, I would say it's a big influence type shit on the kids, cause niggas listen to that shit and they actually do the shit you saying. Like, so if you not doing the shit you saying, don't be rapping. I don't like when niggas do that too. Like, actually do the shit. Like, they be rapping about shit, but they don't do the drugs. And they actually got listeners out here like me that actually listen, that you feel me? That's why when I when I talk about this shit, I, I be like, I, be, I want more fans that can actually relate to me, you feel me? Like, yeah. And not fans that, you feel me, that, that don't relate to my shit. Like, I want fans that actually relate to me. Don't be listening to my shit, and you don't, goddamn. You can't relate to nothing I'm talking about. That's not the goal. You feel me? I don't know, but drugs, that shit, that shit is bad, but at the same time, niggas know what them drugs do in their studio. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. For someone watching this who aspires to do what you do, 
what advice would you have for them? This shit not for the weak. This shit not for the weak, man. So you gonna have some hard ass times. If you ain't getting money like that, and you you feel me, you gonna be broke in this shit. So like, if you choose this music shit, man, just know like this shit. You gotta be strong with this shit, man. Right? No cap, or y'all, you might go under. You know what I mean? And that's it. Like, you gotta be strong. You gotta have a work ethic. You can't be lazy. You gotta wanna be able to do shit. You know what I mean? Like, and you gotta wait your turn. If you not, you feel me? If you hard, you hard. But if you gotta wait your turn, you gotta just wait your turn. Like. This shit not this shit for the this shit for the strong, no cap. That's my advice, yeah. So anyway, yeah, for sure.